Uh, we're gonna replace the sunroof track on a Cobalt SS, it's a 2006, but I think it's the same for all the base model boys out there with the LT and all that. So uh, this one just has bad cl slider clips so that it won't go back and it gets jammed. So we had tape on it for a little bit and finally got the part. Uh, the part was like $200 from the uh, dealership. Uh, online it was like $200 but $300 shipping. So I decided to just go to the dealership and got a better deal. All right, so to take it off, there's uh, six bolts on the side, or three on each side, three here, uh, three on the opposite side, and then two on the top, and then you just have to disconnect the motor linkage and the drain plugs. Other than that, so you just have to take out the headliner, and uh, to get the headliner out, you need to take down the eight pillars a little bit to be able to slide it out, and you have to take off the, the visors and the, the hooks on the back to be able to drop the headliner out. All right, so first thing you gotta do is take off the the sunroof trim for the button, and then you need to remove the visors. And to do that, there's three bolts on each side, or just on each one, and they're T15 Torx heads. And so. All right, so once you have the visors out, you gotta take out the other side too, and there's just one Torx bit in there, and that's the same size as the other one, the T15. Alright, and so once you have those off, it starts to get a little bit loose, and then you need to take out the airbag little buttons uh, to get the eight pillars off. There's again another Torx bit inside of there. And so we'll take those off on both sides and then see where it goes from there. Okay, so once you get the, the Torx bit out of here, it, there's just two little plastic clips on the back side. You just pull it and they'll come off enough to get the headliner out. So once you got the front eight pillars done, you can go ahead and go to the back and remove the, the eight pillars in the back and the, the pillars right here, the black ones. And then you can go ahead and take out the push pin, just a little pin, you just slide it out, it's kind of a bitch. And then once you get those done, just take out the hangers and the headliner should be free besides the seals on the side and on the middle. Okay, so in the back, there's actually no bolt. It's just a little metal push pin. You just pull it out once you get the airbag. You don't even really have to take that out. You just pull it on it and it'll unsnap and then it'll be free. Alright, so after you got all the stuff out, you just kind of have to maneuver the seal around the headliner to be able to get it out. You got to do that on the side by the doors and on the top by the sunroof. So you can just kind of Jamie rig it out of here and then pull the headliner out. Alright, and when you're pulling out, just make sure not to break it because it is a softer style of board. So when you're just be careful when you're going around the seals and pulling it off. The easiest way to do it was pull the seal around the sunroof off first and it kind of slid the whole thing out. Uh, you just gotta start by stuffing it, like pulling it back and then just grab it and then just pull it down a little bit and it'll all start to come out. And then just take the seals off the side and then you can move your, your mirror a little bit 
in your A pillars and you can get the front off just about all the way. Um, once you take off that seal over there, um, that'll come out and then you should be able to slide it forward because right here is the tightest spot. So I think we're gonna have to just take it and slide it forward and pull it out that way. All right, so we were taking off the headliner and we realized that our airbag is glued to the headliner here. Uh, there's like overlap glue from that little plastic bracket right there that just stuck to the airbag. So we're just gonna try and take that off without blowing the airbag up or anything and then see where to go from there. All right, so once you guys got the headliner off, there's three bolts that hold the glass on right here. Um, those are to adjust it. So take those three off and then the whole glass should be able to come out. So uh, once you got all that stuff done, uh, go ahead and take off the drains, uh, one on each corner. And then from there, you can go ahead and unbolt the motor from the track itself. You need to unplug it here first. And then after that, you got uh, six bolts on the, or three on the side. These are all 10 millimeter. Uh, to get the motor off, they're eight millimeter. Then you have two more 10 millimeters here, and then three more on the side. got the track out you can go ahead and take off this, this brace here um, so that you can slide out the whatever I call it, the little cover and then you just take off the, the liner around it, it just slides off and then you just put that on your new one So then once you got it back up, you can start with uh, putting all the bolts back in and then uh, hook up the, hook the motor back up with the three bolts here and then just plug in your drains and should be good to go. All right, so once you got all the bolts in, go ahead and connect the motor. So just put the, put the three bolts in and make sure it meshes fine. And then go ahead and collect, uh, connect all your electrical back up and go ahead and start putting all your interior pieces back in so that it's all back to normal. Alrighty, we got everything back together, so we'll go ahead and start it up and see if it works. All 
Alright, if you guys found this video helpful or you liked it, just go ahead and subscribe and like.